This is Quentin Tarantino at his best, and I don't know that he's ever done anything like this before. You can't ask for a better approach to creating a movie. really who's who. We'd all sit around and talk about, you know, who somebody might be because this is a bit of a detective story. All these characters in The Hateful Eight are untrustworthy. And to put those characters in one room and trap them in that one room with a, a blizzard that is almost like a monster in a monster movie that if they did try to leave, it would devour them. Then to add a slice of Americana I make one a black cavalry officer, and then I make another the son of a rebel renegade, and then I make one a confederate general, and then I add a bunch of other nefarious characters in there, and then just kind of basically stew the pot and see where it goes. For a rocky, brutal, unforgiving, winter western. You need a rugged western terrain. The proximity of the Colorado Rockies doubling for Wyoming really gave you the feeling that these were going to be harsh times for these characters. To build a set in the middle of nowhere and travel there and shoot was very, very difficult because of the weather, the altitude, the snow, the cold, the mud when it wasn't snowing. We had some snow issues, so we had to be very nimble where we were on call seven days a week. It was gonna be snowing on Saturday and Sunday, even though we'd worked five days, but we were out Saturday and Sunday and getting our snow. These snowy landscapes are amazing. They were hard to work in, but our crew rallied. Now, I can't likely help you tie fellas to the roof with my wrist cuffed to hers. And my wrist is gonna stay cuffed to hers, and she ain't never gonna leave my damn side till I personally put her in a Red Rock jail. Now, do you got that? Yeah, I got it. Good. When I first opened the original draft of the script and it said, in glorious 70 millimeter, and then it said over and over again about 10 times in the script, and we see in glorious 70 millimeter, um, I knew this was gonna be a really special romantic adventure because there's an intimate, expansive, magical relationship that you have with cinema if you love cinema. The format of 70 millimeter lends itself to this Western landscape, the size of the frame, the width of the frame. When you see the grain of 70, you see the color of 70, like the wide shot inside the barn and the close-ups of the faces, it's beautiful. We all knew we're gonna tackle this. We wouldn't be making this movie if Kodak and Photochem and Panavision had not stepped up in a huge way. It is a testament to their belief in Bob Richardson and Quentin and in film. Shannon McIntosh went on this quest at Panavision and Photochem with Bob Richardson and Quentin to track down every one of these ultra Panavision lenses, things that Ben-Hur was shot on. and getting Panavision to re-engineer the magazines to hold larger loads of film with the 65, and really guaranteeing that Quentin was going to be able to shoot this film in a way that no one had ever seen a wide format film shot before. It was such a great feeling for all of us just to be reunited again and be able to reminisce and just know that we were all there to make sure that Quentin got everything he needed as he went on this quest in cinema. On behalf of Shannon McIntosh, Casey Sure, Richard Gladstein, and of course our own Quentin Tarantino, I thank you for everything we did here in Colorado. That's a wrap!